Hello and good morning, y'all, and welcome to Cry of the Mermaid, another really cool looking horror game I found on itch. Uh, this one, apparently we're going into an abandoned boat called the Mermaid, and there's gonna be spooky stuff and lore and things like that kind of going on. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this one's gonna be like 30, 40 minutes long from the looks of it. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna give it a go. As always with games like this, I will have a link to it in the description if you want to try it out yourself. And I got the audio as good as I could. Uh, if it's a little bit low or a little bit high in places, my bad. I got it the best I could. So, uh, let's get into it. Cry of the Mermaid. Ooh, we even got some nice little credits here. Nice. Multiple people worked on this. Okay. Usually these always feel like solo dev games, like maybe two people, but we got a few people on this. It looked really good from the screenshots, so... Here's the hoping it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's gonna be like a action-y game, or if it's going to be like more of a walking sim, I don't know. No idea. But I think I'm going to turn up the volume on it, so don't mind me, we're going to stand still for half a second. It seemed pretty quiet, so I just want to, I want to make sure, like, I want to make sure it's audible. We just kind of do this all on the fly, so. Okay, so we got a flashlight. Cool. So what do we got? We got us a key. Okay, we press E to pick up the key. Noise. Uh, mouse movement feels pretty good. Nice. What do we got? Fish. Can I pick up the fish? I got like a, I got like a little hand pro. Oh, I can drag them. Be free. You don't belong on the ship. Fish percent speed run. Let's do one more fish. Get five fish out of here. You're welcome. I saved your lives. Okay. So, what do we got? Emergency cr uh, emergency crane crank. Okay, there's a lot more written on there than emergency crane crank. But, you know? We're gonna, just, we're gonna work with what we got here. Okay. Oh, there's a crane here. We put it here? Or do we put it here? Oh, we put it there. Oh. Operation instructions. Attach engine crank. Spin crank until light is green. Push lever forward to move crane arm down. Pull lever back to move arm up. Push lever left or right to rotate the crank. Like that? Oh, are we gonna get, like, the, um... The boat out of the way, right? Yeah? Down. I don't think that really worked. I don't like not... Oh, wait, it did work. I don't like how I can't, like, really see what's going on. But you know what? It worked. It's, it's a ghost crane, but it worked. Let's get in. It's really hard to say. Okay. Ship manifest. Passengers and crew, 812. Coal and steam turbine engines, 4. Lifeboats, 14. Coal fuel, 5,488 tons. I'm assuming that's what the T is. I don't know. Uh, souvenirs, reclaiming, artifacts, 3,200 feet. Letters, parcels, bullion, 16,400 feet. I, I don't know. I, it's cursive, okay? <laughs> I haven't had to look at cursive since, like, elementary school. You look so happy. Why well, can just take... <gasps> There's, oh, there's a hidden thing. Because I can't, okay, so we can't just, like, open that door. Is there anything else written? A nice, exciting trip up the luxury, uh, the luxury deck today. Captain Smith said anybody working up here today had to look presentable in front of the passengers. A lucky few of us got to, uh, uh got to use those fancy new showers. A lot of cool stuff up here, too. Nice sofas and all that fancy painting. I could stare at it for hours. It makes me feel safe for some reason. Can't hide around all day. Back to work. Shay. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, there's going to be lore everywhere. Hopefully I don't miss any of it. No promises. No guarantees. So they're, they're locking something up. So why are we investigating this? Captain's log. We get off from Newcastle Harbor a little later than desired due to some late passengers. But now we're on good course. 
All passengers and the crew accounted for later on cargo than originally planned. I expect the mermaid could make it to Sweden even a day early. Nice. Alright. Now, I'm not one to judge, but these fancy folk are weird. There's this musical lot from down south, an orchestra they call themselves. Bunch of luggage, but wouldn't let any of us stewards uh, carry the instrument cases. Funny way of taking or talking, too. Don't sound like any southerners I've ever met. Walked right past one of them in the halls, who had some horrible push for folk, or had some horrible posh folk perfume on. Could have sworn it smelled like a fish market. Shay. Alright. So one thing I'm going to say is, like, if a developer's, like, watching this, like, not even, like, developers in this game, but, like, if you have, like, logs like this, uh, I think, like, aesthetically they look really cool, but I do wish, like, every game had, like, a, a lot of games, like, have press R to read, so you get, like, a plain text version of what you're reading. I wish this game had it, because, like, all the fonts, they're readable, they're legible, but it's, like, tripping me up. Like, so, like sometimes, like, the K on that one was kind of weird, and that one has, like, just weirdness going. I wish it was just, like, a plain text. When the first face is... When the first face is east, standing next to it is its reflection. Wait. When the first face is east, standing next to its reflection, down is the only path. Okay. When the first face is east? Well, this this one be facing east, right? Like, if we're assuming this is south, that's north. This one is facing east, right? I think I'm not sure I'm not sure what it meant by like down its reflection hmm what is okay so where are we going what are we doing oh wait wait we got these oh How does this work? Can I, like, pull this all the way? It looks like you can spin it. When the first face is east, standing next to its reflection. Oh! When the first... Okay, so the first one has to face east. Standing next to its reflection, so it would be east on this one. West down yes okay so what did that do it did something I don't know what that did did I like unlock another door like from behind me Oh, wait, this door, this door. Yes, okay. Captain's Log. When I find who has been doing these juvenile pranks, I'll have them raked over the coals on extra shifts until we reach Gothenburg. Changing the combination lock to the office and leaving behind silly riddles? I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the stewards. I like the atmosphere on this so far. It's pretty fun. Press F to adjust the handheld lamp. Yeah, so now they're teaching me about the flashlight. Way ahead of you, game. Can we play hot cross buns? I did it. Please don't be a piano puzzle. I feel like the game's still really quiet, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up just a tad bit more here. That seems good. July 11th. The Mermaid Luxury Bar. The London Orchestra Association gathered for a special one-night performance on board the Mermaid. The London Orchestra Association will be performing String Quartet Number 1 and would be delighted for a large attendance. See you there. So, same log. Okay. So, we got... Ooh, how do you get in here? Maybe a crowbar? Thought I just heard a thing. 
Maybe we're fine. Okay, that door did not want to open. Okay, cool. We got fish. We can't open this. Can't open anything in here. The old bathroom. The closets. Do I have like any text in here? It's just it's just a fish bed. Is that really all there is? Huh. Well, that's awfully fishy. What was that? Huh. It was loud, that's what it was. <laughs> but what the hell was that? So we got some kind of key. But it doesn't work there. What are these rooms? Crowbar. Do I gotta hold on to it and bring it down to the door at the end, maybe? I'm assuming that's what I gotta do here. Look, this is more complex than like 95% of itch games I play. Not to knock any of the other games I play, but this, this one it's actually got some mechanics going. It's a really good atmosphere. Like, not for nothing, this is pretty good. Uh, had to play around to that big fancy piano while the posh folk were do uh, dancing in the far hall. Uh, hit some keys and then a drawer popped out the front. Thought I had broken the thing at first, but it must just be some sort of secret. At least I have a spot up here to hide my tobacco pouch or something. If Captain Smith walks by, Shay. So I, I pick something up. So there's a special combo? Hmm. Ah. So wait, it's the... Two, three, two. Two, three, two. This one? Uh, this? Solved it. I'm a good piano work. A pianist. A pianist. Okay, so still the wrong door there. Okay. This is like fun to explore, man. Like genuinely it's pretty fun. Like explore around here. So there's still two more keys I gotta get. It's not like even like an inventory to kind of like see like what the keys are. So hopefully I don't get too lost here. I do wish the lighting was a bit better so I didn't have to like use a flashlight. It almost feels like it's easier to navigate this place without the flashlight on. Because like it makes like the edges of the screen so dark. Captain's lock. Something's wrong. There's a rotten stench coming from the lower decks and just beneath the floorboards. I have no idea what this could be, but I've sent Shay down to check. The first class guests have begun to notice, unfortunate as it gets, a foul mood for the orchestra performance tonight. Okay. Maybe one of these doors back here? Because we got two doors. It's here, buried beneath the depths of the ship. We must rise up for him. Okay. That's comforting. Hmm. Like, so this is, like, very slow pace, but, like, I like the slow pace of this. It's 
we were in here, but I didn't see anything. It's weird that there's nothing in here, like not even like a log. So I just want to check in here one last time. Just say. It's like no paper on any shelf. We have fish in here. And thankfully, I'm not a fish, so I should be fine. I don't think they're going to kill me. Alright, this is the orchestra again. This bar also serves fish. They really like fish here, man. Very fishy kind of place. If you have a fish allergy, this restaurant really cannot accommodate you. Okay, so I can't read this note. This note's... Wait. Oh, it's just... It's awkward. It was the orchestra. One minute they are unpacking from the instrument cases, and the next all I can see is blood. Somehow we got the kitchen locked while they searched in there, but they are already pounding the kitchen door and the bar trap door. Is there a trash door on the bar? Or a trap door on the bar? Is that what they said? Let's see. Oh, yeah. There totally is. We could go down there, but let's check these two doors first. It's a big old empty bathroom. And empty bathroom. Okay. We also got this. With a locked door. Okay. Anything in here? Just some good bloody fun. Can't hate on the fun. Alright, so I'm intrigued. So, what exactly is here? So they said they locked people down here. Why, 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 why? That was loud. This game's really trying... Trying to jump scare you. Oh, now we're in the kitchen. Okay. An orchestra or screams... Uh, of screams and an evening of blood. Once we make it back down the engine room, the survivors won't matter. There's enough blood spilled up here already. Right. I like the fact that I gotta work my way back through here. They're gonna try and jump me again. I want to close it. I don't trust it. Back. Now, I think if we're going to use this key anywhere, it's probably going to be the one door we haven't opened out here. Because it feels like we're get we're straying too far from the locked door down here, so I want to try it here. No, so how'd you get in that door? It seems so weird that we haven't like been able to uh, unlock that yet. Interesting. But I'll say again, this is like a very high quality little game. Like for free on itch. This is like really high quality. So far. So yeah, so I guess we just never open that door? Okay, then. So we can open that door. We can't open up the first door? Seems weird. So this must be like around the engine room, right? So, no, that's probably the door we came from. Hmm. 
Hmm. It worked. My distraction worked. It seems to be hypersensitive to sudden sound, but struggles to see if you're purposely hiding. It seems the tool storage cupboards work perfectly for obscuring yourself. I bought a few seconds for my crewmates by throwing some coal around as a distraction. Smash a few pipes too, but I doubt it'll change much. They're all doomed. We're all doomed. Hypersensitive to sudden sound. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Left? How do I get through that? Okay. So that turns that off, but what about this one? No. This one? That turns that off, but then we still gotta get through this one. that one on too. Do that. Damn. Now it turns both of these on? This is very confusing. There has to be, like, an obvious solution, I just don't see it. Let's do this, let's do this. There we go. Now, I'm not just gonna sit here and say I'm the greatest gift, but I really am the greatest gift. Alright, I trapped it, only God knows how long it'll stay like that. If you're reading this, I implore you to be careful and plan your next steps carefully. If you lack the sanity to leave, do one thing and kill that creature. The furnace is still set to be operational and has enough fuel to ignite itself temporarily. The lever head is broken, so you'll need to find a replacement in the cargo room. Then lock the creature in the furnace and turn it on. Kill it once and for all. The cargo room? Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'd... We good? I think this is I think we finally got a monster. There we go. Interesting. go on by I'm not fully sure like what direction I'm supposed to be going here just gonna wait just gotta wait 
Dude, the creature's really not that, like, scary looking, but I kind of like it. It's different. Good. I'm assuming we're good now. Yeah, it's it's right in this room. Okay. I'm getting a little bit quiet. I'm focusing a little bit. I don't really feel like dying at the moment. There's the furnace. Wait right here. I turned something on, but I don't know what. I don't know what I did. He's on top of me, though. Go away. Shoo. Where's the furnace? Alright, so there should be like a switch then. It says in the cargo room, I think, on the note from earlier. Here we go. They changed, they heard the whispers, they couldn't resist the urge to, I can't push myself to right the horrors. Don't touch it, you must resist. I can't hold myself back much longer. I need to, I need it, I must bake it. I must make it. Keep my sanity. Okay. It's driving me crazy, I can't get my mind off of it. It calls to me every waking moment. Uh, hell. Even in my sleep, I need it. I need to satiate its desires. I must feed its hunger. I've killed too many to stop now. Their flesh turning into the roots that hold the very chains that hold me. Link by link, inch by inch. Soon the champion or the of the depths will be released. Formed from the beating heart in my body. I'll be the key, the last step, the meat I've already harvested becoming its strength. Okay. Pretty close. So do I gotta like lead it in here, then close the door and turn it on? Yeah. That's what it looks like. 
Where is it? I think I gotta bring it in. Where's this old chum? <laughs> Where you at? Come here. Oh my god. Stay in this. Ugh. Reload Lotus chat. Wait. Am I all the way back here? Are you fucking kidding? Man. Oh, that sucks. What am I supposed to do then? Huh. That really blows, though. So I need to get that switch again. I don't know how you're supposed to lead it in there. Unless, like, you just open up the door and hope it notices, maybe? I guess that's, like, really the only thing you got going for you. You know? It's just kind of like open it and just hope they go into it. Otherwise, I don't really know. I can't find the cargo hold again. Do I just like put like a fish in there? Like, can I find like a fish? Maybe. Hmm. Go away. Okay, it's not super far away, but it's far enough away, I think. I think I gotta go down here. Right? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go close the box, get the handle. Let's go. Go away, you love crafty and hentai tentacles. There we go. Is there anywhere to hide over here in case he chases me down here? I always like see like a hiding spot. You know, oh, I go in here, don't I? And I wait for it. Yeah. It's totally what I do. I just sit in here and I wait. Again, unless there's like fish I could put in there. I guess we'll find out soon enough, but we're gonna, we're gonna chill here for like a quick minute, you know? See what's up. I went right by. Had no interest. Oh, 
open that furnace and everything for it. Come on, man. Get in there. It does not want to go in. But I do think they brought up fish in the game earlier. I do think they did. If that's the case, I can only think of one place. With fish. Right next to me. Not anymore. There's fish all oh, wait. In here. I think I'm onto something now. I think I'm onto it. We good? I put fish in the furnace. It didn't work. What the hell, man? I thought for sure that's what you had to do. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I was onto something. Maybe too far back? Like maybe we'll get like a nice whiff there. Let's say. We'll just wait again. We're retrying the fish strat. We're gonna chill out here. This game's been really cool, but I don't understand this bit. Ay ay ay. Ay 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 Still no? I ran in there. Let's see if that was good. No. Maybe I can try again, like, where I get it, like, you know. 
in the back of the furnace. No, that didn't work at all. Huh? I was so confused. Hold on. Should I, should I do like a live check on what people do to make this work? Hold. Maybe the fish like needs to be like over here. Like maybe just a little bit closer. Just really close, you know? Right at the door. Make some noise, make him come over here. I don't think it's the fish thing. Hold on. I'm gonna cheat see. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a big cheatsy doodle and see if I can um get this. With the utmost of cheating. Okay, 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 okay. I'm using I'm using cheats. Well not using cheats, but wait. Hold on. Oh, I would have never guessed it. I mean, I guess. Okay, so I am doing it right, but not right enough. Okay. Um, hello? I'm stuck. Oh my god, it, it broke though. I feel like I got cheated. Again. God damn it, man. So what you gotta do? I'll show in a second. Oh my god. I got all turned around there. So we do get a come in here. But what you gotta do is you gotta kinda leave him in the furnace and throw some coal so it distracts him, I guess. It's really strange. Let's do it. At least I know what's going on now. But this I don't think this end segment was like really done too well. Unfortunately. And I'm not just saying that because I'm getting like really stuck. I don't think they like really I don't know. This this end segment that was a little bit rough. Thankfully, I'm not the first person to record this game, so I was kind of able to, um, get it by watching that. But even the person that kind of recorded and beat it, it kind of seemed to struggle here, so I was in the, I had the right idea, just the wrong motions. You know? He's supposed to throw the coal like that, and then he gets confused. Then you give him an old bake. You have escaped. Congratulations on completing this early demo. You have killed the monster lurking into the depths of the ship, and saved countless future explorers like yourself. Press escape to return. So we did it. I mean, overall, the game itself was really good. Like, it was a very well-done little horror game. 
Um, it's just that little ending segment in the furnace didn't really make much sense, and I think we crashed on this ending screen, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, that was my only real complaint there, is just that that little furnace bit was a little bit confusing. Uh, but we had some enemy interaction, we had we had some little puzzles in there. Like, it seemed cool, and apparently it's only a demo, so I, I could see this full thing being really fun. Um, yeah, not bad at all. If you want to try it out, I do have a link to it in the description. Um, hopefully you enjoyed watching. It might not have been the most the most smooth playthrough I've ever done, but hey, you know, we got through it. So, uh, yeah, y'all have a lovely day. I'll catch you guys again in the next video. And uh, just toodles, y'all. Be good.